Niger's political crisis deepens as military junta defies regional pressure. Niger is facing a worsening political and humanitarian crisis as the military junta that seized power in a coup last month refuses to step down and release the elected president, Mohamed Bazoum. The junta, led by General Abdurrahman Tiani, has ignored the ultimatum and sanctions imposed by the regional bloc ECOWAS, which has threatened to intervene militarily to restore democracy in the country. The coup, which took place on July 26, 2023, was carried out by members of the Presidential Guard, who stormed the Presidential Palace and detained Bazoum, his wife, and his son. Kiani then declared himself the head of a transitional government called the National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland CNSP, and suspended the constitution and all state institutions. The coup came as a shock to many observers, as Niger had been considered a model of democracy in West Africa, having held peaceful and transparent elections in February 2023. Bazoum, a former interior minister and ally of former President Mohamedou Issoufou, won the runoff vote with 55.75% of the ballots, defeating former President Mohamed Ousmane, who claimed fraud and refused to concede. The junta has justified its actions by accusing Bazoum of violating the constitution and undermining national unity. It has also claimed that it acted to prevent a foreign invasion by France, which has a large military presence in Niger as part of its counter-terrorism operation in the Sahel region. France has strongly condemned the coup and called for Bazoum's immediate release and restoration of constitutional order. The international community has also expressed its concern and opposition to the coup, with the United Nations, the African Union, the European Union, and the United States issuing statements of condemnation and urging dialogue and respect for human rights. The US has also suspended its security assistance to Niger, which amounts to about $40 million per year. However, the junta has shown no signs of backing down or compromising with ECOWAS, which has been leading the diplomatic efforts to resolve the crisis. ECOWAS has imposed a series of measures against Niger, including closing its borders, freezing its assets, banning commercial flights, and imposing travel bans and asset freezes on the coup leaders and their families. ECOWAS has also given the junta a deadline of seven days, which expired on August 4, 2023, to hand over power to Bazoum or face a possible military intervention by its standby force. However, the junta has dismissed the ultimatum as unrealistic and unacceptable, and has vowed to resist any foreign interference. The standoff between ECOWAS and the junta has raised fears of a violent escalation in Niger, which is already facing multiple security challenges from armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State in its border regions with Mali, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, and Libya. The country is also struggling with poverty, food insecurity, malnutrition, and climate change. The coup has also sparked protests in Niger's capital Niamey and other cities, with some people supporting the junta and others demanding Bazoum's return. The junta has deployed security forces to quell the demonstrations, resulting in clashes and arrests. The UN has reported that at least 10 people have been killed and hundreds injured since the coup. The situation in Niger remains tense and uncertain, as ECOWAS continues to push for a peaceful solution while preparing for a possible military option. The fate of Bazoum and his family is also unknown, as they remain under house arrest without access to lawyers or medical care. The junta has said that it will announce a roadmap for a transition to civilian rule soon, but it has not given any details or timeline. The people of Niger are anxiously waiting for an end to this crisis that threatens their democracy and stability.